Hello, everyone. I wanted to share a taboo topic in the world of entrepreneurship. Depending on where you are in your journey, some will listen to what I say as a reason to take action for their mental health because of what happened to them, whilst other will find a reason to build up their mental strength ahead of what's ahead of them. Two sides of the same coin. Entrepreneurship has been stripped away from its human element. On one side, the successful entrepreneurs are few and far between, portrayed as superhero and demigod type ambitions, putting themselves goals that previously could only be done by nation states. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson are in the footstep of John F. Kennedy, who famously said, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. But you do not need to go to the moon to decide something hard. In fact, the world has over 804,398 startups, and 100% of founders will agree that building a business is hard. What is more, 90% will fail. What is worse, 40% will suffer from one or more mental health condition. This led to the other side of the problem. Whilst the successful entrepreneurs are outside of reach to be humanly relatable, the failed founders become just a statistic, dehumanized as a simple number, a crunching probability that their business didn't take off. So let me say this, entrepreneurs don't just fail, their company do. Entrepreneurs, just like cats, have seven lives and each time they get better, stronger and clearer in their vision. While their journey is hard, it shouldn't cause them hardship. We need a startup ecosystem that rewards for positive behaviors. We need to take responsibility, the responsibility of founders to allow themselves to be vulnerable, the responsibility of investors to look for founders as person, not assets, the responsibility of clients to say thank you for doing the unthinkable. What do we gain from this? Entrepreneurs will gain the necessary resilience and be able to last a decade-long journey towards success. They will not combust mid-air like shooting stars entering our atmosphere. Investors will gain better return by having healthy founders able to make the right decision at the right time. Startups don't fail, they commit suicide because founders' judgment can be clouded by unfocused mind. Reducing startups' failures from nine out of 10 to even just eight out of 10 will increase return on investment, but most fundamentally improve the outcome of one person, one life. What can we do at minima? Well, if you know a founder, don't simply ask, how are you? Instead say, are you okay? Invite entrepreneurs in front of you to share how they feel without them having to use the energy to make their step. In investing in a company, invest in the well-being of founders by mandating them to budget for activities building up mental strength. If you're a family member, provide a safe space outside of responsibility for founders to recover. And if you're a founder, take a moment, take a breath, in the help of five seconds, pause for free, excel for five seconds. What I'm saying is that whilst founders are rebuilding the world, it is equally in their power to build an environment around them that systematically supports them. Entrepreneurs are athletes, overachievers, and performers. Yet, they do not have the same entourage as Tiger Woods, Roger Federer, LeBron James. You would never ask Cristiano Ronaldo to play football 12 hours straight, seven days a week, for 10 years. Yet, this is exactly what most founders are doing and expected from them. Worse, today they do not have anywhere near the same network of coaches, physio, and staff surrounding them to achieve and most importantly maintain peak performance. 
World Mental Health Day is around the corner. Let's start a movement and improve mental health and well-being for founders. Share your story or raise your hand and use the hashtag Founders Taboo to break the stigma. I am Janos Barberis, one of the co-founders of Supercharger Ventures, an accelerator and fund dedicated to founders reimagining how education will be done in the future. We help founders build a rocket, for sure, but we equally care for them as individuals, building their resilience and strength to get them even closer to reach for the stars. Oh, and one more thing. This is my dog. It's Freudy, and it means happiness in German. One of the most important elements in my life as a founder. When I started my journey almost seven years ago, a close friend and advisor of mine Hearing was about to, I was about to do gave me one advice. Get a dog. What you're about to do is hard. You will need him. And so to you, Melissa, I wanted to say you were right. Thank you. I got Freudy.